Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about how to create coupons and give discounts to the customers. For that, you have to log into admin. You go to this marketing, click on this catalog price rule. So in this catalog price rule, you see here add new rule. Click on this one. Add name, any name you can put. You see here the description. If you want to show some description about this coupon, you just add some description here. So you should uh, enable this one, select this to yes. And uh, coming to the websites, you select this one. So right, right now I just have only one website, that is main website. So if you have multiple websites, you can select all those. Okay. Now coming to the customer groups. So based on the customer groups, you can uh, set this catalog price rule. Right now I'm just selecting all. This from and to are the dates you can select. In between those dates, this catalog price rule will apply. Okay. Right now I'm just leaving empty so that it will apply to all the dates. Based on this priority setting, that this catalog price rule will apply as the most priority one. Coming to conditions, click on this one. You will find different options like uh, you click this plus symbol. So based on this product attribute, uh, for example, if you take the SKU, so it, it represents SKU is something like, uh, I will take one SKU in the front end, search for the product. In the last video, I have created some different types of product, right? So I'm just taking the simple product. You see here, this is a simple product I have taken. So based on this price, I, I give some discount to the customer. So 20% discount or $10 discount, $20 discount on this price. You can set that. Okay. So SKU is what? Here you can find this SKU of this product. So for this product, I'm giving the discount. Copy this queue. Paste it here. You see this green symbol? Just click on this. It will apply. Okay. Now, this is one of the attribute of the product. So, this catalog price rule, if you want to apply if based on different types of uh, attributes, you can select this one. And for example, previously I selected SKU. Now, I select some size or color. Okay. Color is something black. What this means? SKU is iPhone 15 simple and also the color should be black. If any product found with these attributes, then it will check for the actions. Before that, if you see here, if all these conditions are true, that means I have added only one, two. If you want to add multiple combinations of uh, the product attributes, what you have to do, you have to select this condition combination. So this condition combination, what it will do, so first it will check uh, all these conditions are met. So if these conditions are met, then it will go here and uh, we need to add some other attributes, a category. Okay. So if this category is 21, I just selected the category attribute. Now, what does this mean? It will check first SKU, color. If these two are true, then it will go here. Okay, the third condition is category is 21. That means if the SKU is iPhone 15 simple, color is black and the category should be 21. If these three conditions are true, then we can apply the catalog price rule to this product. Otherwise, uh, the price rule will not apply. And now here we are just setting the condition. Now what we need to do under this apply, we have four options. Okay, apply as percentage of original, apply as fixed amount, uh, it is final price to the percentage, it is final price to the discount value. Okay, now I'll just uh, discuss about this uh, percentage. You can try with, uh, with the remaining ones. Okay, so the percentage uh, will work on whatever the original price I'm seeing here, $110. So the discount will apply on this. So how much discount I will give to the customer based on the percentage or based on the fixed amount. Okay. Now I'm going with the percentage. That means in the discount amount, you have to put some percentage. 
okay i'm just giving 20 percentage so about this discount subsequent rules if you put it to yes that means whatever the catalog price rules previously you created uh, for this product that will be removed and only this catalog price rule will be applied as a new one okay now we have uh, created this one now what you have to do just click on save and apply okay now catalog price rule created so for checking and apply this rule just click on apply rules now updated rules applied now what you have to do you have to go to git bash change your directory to c exam htdocs m24 because this is my magento root directory now you have to run one command php bin slash magento index 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 I have to run this command okay. the command is executed now you have to flush the cache after the indexing cache flush I will discuss this cache management and indexing in the later tutorials okay cache also flushed now I have created this catalog price rule so I will check in the front end refresh this page this is the base price 110 dollars on top of this uh, the discounted price will apply that will be the final price so it is not coming because you go to this catalog price rule you see check here the conditions SKU is this one, color is black, category is 21. Might be this product is not under that category, is 21. Okay, just remove this one. Okay. Now I'm just using the SKU attribute. So based on this SKU only, I will apply this catalog price rule. Okay. Okay, this 20% will apply. Now save and apply. Do the same. Indexing. Every time you are creating these uh, catalog price rules or card price rules, just uh, index and then cache flash. Okay, now flash the cache. Okay, now click in the front end. So this is the final price for this product after your catalog price rule applied. Okay, this way you can add the catalog price rule. So this is something like uh, in the last video we discussed about the special price, the final price and this uh, regular price. So it is similar to that, but uh, we can apply that in a different way using this catalog price rule. Okay, when the page load, the discount amount is applied. Okay. In the next video we will discuss about card price rules and the coupons, how you can create that. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, add in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel.